Hello, we're trying a new little mic setup with this thing. Same microphone, but it's got this little little mini one as well. Sounded okay when I did a mic check, as long as I don't touch it. If I touch it, it does this thing. Anyways, today we are doing another full face of first impressions of stuff from my last power haul plus a couple of extras. Oh my goodness, it is so bright today. It's actually quite hot. My eyes are like not functioning. I'm squinting so much. Something to address on my face. First off, I've got a freaking breakout. I've got this on. This stuff's actually so good. The deep breakout liquid patch from Dermalogica. It's like for deep breakouts, the ones that you can't pop, which is exactly what that is. Um, and it's got, what is it, sulfur and cam for, I don't know what that is, but it's invisible. I've got it on now, you can't even see it. And you can also put it on on top of makeup, which is so helpful. I'll link it below. Oh, and it says you can use it during pregnancy too, which is cool, because a lot of like um, breakout products you can't actually use while you are pregnant. So that's a really good one, just a little hot tip, because I don't break out a whole lot these days, but yeah the reason is is i wasn't using as much of my skincare routine over the last couple of weeks because i got a couple of moles removed so i've got these little tapes on right now they're healing up really nicely um i vlogged about it a little bit if you want to go check out my vlog channel if you want me to talk in depth about it let me know but i got two done they i can't even remember what the like procedure was it wasn't dry ice it was like some current thing electro current thing shaved them down it didn't hurt I got like an aesthetic put in and then I just wore plasters for a few days while they're like you know they were drying out and now I just have these little tapes on that's supposed to help with like scarring and stuff I don't really care if I have like a scar this one actually like literally looks like perfect but I've just got the tape on anyways to protect it from makeup like, I'm gonna put makeup on top but you know just so it's not like raw dogging the makeup <laughs> this one here is almost healed i would say it's a little bit swollen still but this one was obviously much more major um so yeah if all of that healing goes well i'll probably like get a couple like i have one popping up here since pregnancy and breastfeeding and stuff like all of a sudden i have so many random moles honestly i never used to have like hard out ones like i've got like one there 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 there's one under my lip like over here they used to just be like freckles on my face and now they've like popped out anyways time to get started on this makeup team that's what's happening on my face we've addressed it i'm gonna start by wetting this because i really want to use this cute garfield sponge today it's glam light um i got it off glam reader and the packaging's adorable i grew up reading garfield comics my auntie used to have a lot of them so i'm very excited or is it just i think it's just like a dent <laughs> I was like, is that meant to be a butt crack right there? I don't think you can see it. But it's got a little Garfield on it. Teardrop shape kind of with a flat bottom. So let's see how much bigger it gets when I wet it. it Grow a lot. It's real weird though. Like the way I wet my sponges is I obviously wet them under the sink while I squeeze them and, you know, wait for them to expand. And then afterwards I take a clean towel and I put it in and I just squeeze the living shit out of it to try and get all the water out. But it very much feels wet still which is such a weird thing. It's like a weird texture, but it feels very soft and bouncy. So we'll give it a go. Now I've got a whole lot of makeup here. I'm sure show you without tipping at all. And I've also got some other stuff out of my drawers that I want to use, like this It Cosmetics Foundation. I feel like, did I ever try this? I don't know, maybe not. It's the Your Skin But Better Foundation and Skincare. I'm sure I tried this at some point. Maybe I decluttered it. I don't even know, but it's in my drawers. So I'm just going to use that today. Oh, I don't know what to use because I've got the MAC Hyper Real Ceramizer. I'm really excited to try this. But then I also have this, which looks interesting. Glow Hub Baby Beam Dew Filter Glow Base. Like, they've literally put all the keywords I love into it. Um, so I'm quite intrigued. It's called Angel Beam. And I don't think I've ever tried this brand before. I bought this off um, Beauty Bay. My eyes are still adjusting to the sun. Thank God for Botox because I'd literally be frowning right now if I didn't have Botox. That's what it looks like. I feel like the brand reminds me of Made by Mitchell but not, you know. Shake me to wake me. Packaging kind of feels like rubbery. Oh, wait. I'm kind of nervous. I don't know why. Is this actually a primer? Yeah, foundation base. Wait, foundation slash base? What? It's vegan. Made in England. I don't know. Let's just see what happens when we put it on. <gasps> Is it actually a foundation? It kind of looks like a foundation. Now I'm confused. I kind of want to use like a brush with this. I'll use a foundation with that sponge, but we'll just use a flat top. Yeah. Is this foundation or what? 
Or is it just like a tinted primer? Well, it's really pretty, whatever it is. I feel like it's just reminding me of like the flawless filter kind of primer situations that we see from heaps of different brands these days. Um, it's just like a paler color, which is good because a lot of my other ones are quite dark. It feels very hydrating. It has a bit of a nana smell to it. Incredibly glowy. To be fair, looking up close at this, I wouldn't really want to wear this alone because I feel like it accentuates a lot of like texture on my skin like it's really showing my um pores and things technically I, why can i not get it out technically don't know if i like the packaging could use it alone though of course if you wanted it's almost like a cross between flawless filter with strobe cream by mac that's the kind of finish like i would imagine you would get if you mix those two products like it's it's very strobey and glowy it's not just like a tinted glow, like it's intense. What do you guys reckon? Do you like the way it looks? I'm like on the fence, like I do like it, but I just don't know how much I like it compared to those other products, you know what I mean? For skin that's blurred, radiant and dewy, illuminate all days, always, alone under makeup or for that glassy glow highlight. It's got glycerin, hyaluronic acid, squalane, squalane, whatever, vitamin E and vitamin A, there you go. Oh shit, it says on the back, lucky I read that, it says warning. This product contains retinol. So there you go, It's it's got retinol in it. How random is that? So if you're using this as your primer for the day, you need to wear sunscreen with it. I wasn't counting on that and I don't have SPF on. Oh, I'm not leaving my house today to be fair. Let's try this. I feel like I have used this in the past. I can't remember, whatever. It's in my drawer and the shade is Light Warm 2-3. It cosmetics your skin but better foundation and skincare. Improves your bare skin in two weeks. It's water light, medium coverage and a natural radiant finish. Oh shite, that came squirting. I don't really know the best way to use a sponge. Like the flat side. I feel like the shape fits awkward because I prefer something more teardrop shaped so you can get under the eyes, whereas this one, I feel like it's like very, bulbous yeah it's really hard to get right under the eyes the foundation on top of this primer absolutely yes immediately yes yeah i hate the sponge for under the eyes i'm not even gonna lie I'm adding another pump on the sponge yeah this foundation's so pretty let me show you up close like it's so smoothing and just it really improved the look of all my like pores and stuff that were really accentuated on the side like it looks so good so, I mean, the primer does its job, I guess, underneath foundation. I definitely don't think I would wear it alone, personally. Maybe if you had, like, literally perfect skin, you could get away with it. This foundation's so nice and lightweight, too. Like, it doesn't feel heavy on my skin. I like the coverage. I feel like it'd be such a good day-to-day -day foundation. I wish it had um, sunscreen in it, because I just feel like it would be the perfect, yeah, daytime foundation. Foundation colour is pretty good for me, too. Um... Maybe a little bit too dark right now, but I'm just bringing some down my chest. Yeah, it looks stunning. I can definitely still see, obviously, like the problem areas on my face, like where I've got breakouts at the moment and stuff. But sometimes I just think that it is what it is when it comes to those. If you have a lot of breakouts and you're looking to cover them harder, the foundation's not going to do it by itself. Like this one clearly isn't going to do it by itself. I don't really mind. Like I still just think overall my skin looks really pretty. We can pop on a little bit of concealer. So I have a concealer here. This one's probably not going to do for my face. It's too light. But we've got the Camo Concealer from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Love this. I actually think I had either this or another liquid foundation from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Can't remember which one. I think I've got it at my beach house. I think that's why I'm a little bit confused here. But yes, I do really like that. And I love like... The CC cream from It Cosmetics is one of my holy grail makeup products, like, of all time. This one right here, it is incredible, and this is SPF, and I actually think the coverage on this is probably a little bit higher, to be honest. Right, so the colour I've got here for this is Fair Rose. I can't remember if I got this off Beauty Bay or Glam Raider, but I know that they both stock e.l.f. cosmetics if you're looking for it and you live here in New Zealand. You can also get some e.l.f. from Kmart, can't you? I feel like it's in a lot more places these days. To use the sponge on the eye, I'm going to squeeze the living shit out of it and we'll just see if this works. Yeah, nah. This is just a nightmare to use around the eye area. Straight up. This colour is so pale. Wow. This colour is way too light for me right now. 
That's so funny. I don't know what I was just thinking putting this on. Like, clearly it was too pale. Blends out nicely though. Someone asked me to do a deeper lip. So I'm going to do that for you guys today. It's not going to be like, you know, dark, dark, dark. But just something a little bit deeper than what I normally go for. I've got a couple of little selections from my new stuff drawer slash PR haul. I'm thinking of something like purplish, not purple, like something wearable, but like that kind of cherry cola vibe or something. Look, I like the concealer. I don't know how hydrating it really is, but I think it looks really nice under the eyes. It's just obviously way too pale. This is definitely a color for me when I've got no fake tan on and it would be even lighter than my natural skin tone with no fake tan on. Do you know what I mean? Like it's so pale. I'm just gonna go in with some shape tape, I think. And I might just add a little bit of this just to help balance this out. And also maybe just a little bit of it around these breakouts I've got. I don't want to like pile on too much concealer right under my eyes. So I'm kind of just using it around the edges to like try and blend it a bit, I guess. Oh, I like this color, Freddy from Trini London on my lips. Don't reckon that's stunning. You can use it on your cheeks as well. I might even put a little bit. Mm, no, I've got a different blush. I've got too many things I want to try. Even like this Berry Pop cheek trio it's got like a deeper color here too oh i don't know what i want to use let's go in with this revolution pro goddess glow cream contour and bronze i got this in the shade light i think i got the soft beauty bay as well i think i bought this ages ago um i just haven't had a chance to try it out yet so it looks again similar to like the charlotte tilbury and all them which my favorite is definitely emco one i really love it Elf has some really good ones. I love the Charlotte Tilbury original one as well. Here's the color. I'm just gonna do one side at a time and blend as I go. The pigment looks incredible. The color looks really nice. I'm just gonna use my flat face brush because it's right here. I feel like I've put way too much. I'm really getting into like cream bronzes and contouring and stuff again. Um, I just really, I don't know, I love the way it makes my face look. Definitely use too much. You don't need a lot. Louis keeps walking, my door's open because it's really hot and Louis keeps walking in here, being a nuisance. He's like, what are you doing? He's just sniffing everything. I love this color because it's that slightly kind of like warm yellowy color that I love in bronzer personally. If you don't like that, you won't like it. I honestly want to try a darker shade of this too. Like this is perfect just for a little bit of bronze, but maybe a darker one to do that like real dramatic like contour, you know? I'm going to do three dots this time. That's much better. And much quicker to blend out too. Oh, I love the color. 10 out of 10 for the color. It's beautiful. I could see myself using this a lot. Primer, man. Like, you know how I use this brush for the primer? I can still smell it on the brush. It's like weird smelling. It smells like, yeah, old lady skincare. Not in like a powdery rose way, but I can't explain it. It kind of smells like, I don't know, just like that general like soap smell that you smell when you go to like Uncle Bill's. I can't, <laughs> I can't explain it. Stunning. The under eyes definitely throwing me off a little bit, but... Love. Now I just need to sit under my eyes a little bit before we continue because um, the concealer is definitely moving. So I'm just going to re-smooth it with my brush and then I'll set it with a powder I already like. Let's use the Easy Bake in Cupcake with a shimmer tulip brush. I'm just going to lightly dust this on today. And to be honest, I might just use this to set my face. Like this is something I really like to do. I do want to put on some cream blush so I need to be careful not to put it everywhere but... A little bit down the nose and a little bit just like in the t-zone basically and i do like this area like around my mouth it looks very pale but i'm using such a sheer amount it does help to brighten but ugh, it just looks so blurring and pretty on the skin like you don't have to just use this under your eyes it's just like radiance in a little compact i love it considering like the concealer and stuff isn't perfect i'm feeling very nice still Okay, next up, let's do a little bit of cream blush. I'm gonna to mix together two. So I'm gonna use Dido and Freddie. These are both by Trini London. The colors are gorgeous that she puts out. She's got all these little pots, right? And then on the bottom it says, 
eyes, cheeks, or lips. So this one says lips and cheeks. That's what it's recommended to be used for. So they're just like multi-use, like little balmy, creamy products, which I just think they're so cool because they're really good for like handbags and stuff like that. And the color payoff is very much like natural glow. It's nothing crazy. Very wearable. I'm just gonna use my finger. This one's like barely there actually. Use a brush. Kind of kicking up my foundation. I've used these before and liked them. Maybe it's this color. It's just not doing too much for me right now. This brand has such good skincare. I've been using it for ages. See, this one's more of like a matte look. Let's try this one. Yeah. I think it's just because that other one was like a glossier formula. This one is not kicking up the foundation. This must be like the one I tried last time because I remember liking it. I think this one, yeah, this one's like... I think better for the lips because it's a bit too glossy. I mean, unless you want that super balmy gloss on your cheeks, which I honestly do a lot of the time. I, I don't think I was expecting it, you know? It's so weird not having that mole there. Like, I still feel like it's there because I'm so used to it being there. But it's like, but it's like minimized, you know? It's, it's a weird, I don't know. It's been part of me for so long now it's just gone, but had to go. I was sick of it getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I was like, when's it gonna end? I liked it when it was little and then not so much more recently. And I thought, F it. And I went for a consult, not planning to actually get it removed. And I was like, you know, I liked what I heard. And I was like, well, if I wanna get it done, when, I can, when can I do it? And she's like, well, you can go home and think about it. Otherwise I've got space now and you can just do it now while you're here. Cause I got it done in Wellington and I'm not from Wellington. So like, I was like, mm, then I don't have to come back, don't have to travel back. I was like, let's do it. Seemed to go well, but I think it was good that I could just do it spontaneously. Otherwise I would have just like pissed around and just never gotten around to doing it. Cause that's just what I do. Cause it was something that was like bothering me, but you know, at the same time, a lot of things about my appearance bother me from time to time. And I just get over it. Cause I'm like, whatever, it's just me. But I actually just bit the bullet and did it and pretty stoked and proud of myself for doing that. And I think because it's obviously not like major, it's not like I went and got a spontaneous nose job or something. <laughs> Believe you me, I wanted a nose job like my entire life and I swiped down that when I was gonna, when I was an adult, I was gonna get a nose job. It's, not, it's just something that doesn't really bother me anymore. I quite like my nose these days. I think I like my nose less when I'm skinny um, because when I'm skinny, obviously like you lose weight in your face and everything looks like like your features look bigger. And I feel like when I was skinny, my nose looked enormous. <laughs> no, it's not, but you know what I mean? Never say never, I guess, but at the same time, can't imagine I would ever spend money doing that. If I was gonna get some surgery done, it'd be a tummy tuck because my skin, since having Porter is, it's got a mind of its own. It'll never go back to normal. Like I've lost some weight, but it just like hangs there. It's just like, it's weird. I'm gonna add some of this cream blush on top because why not? It says it's a cream brush, but it's like a, oh, it's so pigmented. I'm scared. Oh, Jesus. You do not need it much. I'm just gonna pat it. The lighting's just changed because the sun's decided to duck. I feel like everything looks a little bit patchy now because of that gloss. So we're just gonna have to move past that. The color itself is stunning. Holy crap, man, you don't need much of that. It, really it's got a lot of payoff these ones are much more user friendly this one's like very full on like be very careful with it very pigmented be really good for different skin type tones and stuff though what does tinted glow cream base mean is it like the highlighter i'm just putting like so many different things on my cheeks right now i feel like the cream blush is a powder but it says cream blush tinted glow cream base and then dream glow but this does not feel creamy to me. It feels like a powder. Sorry, you can't even see. That one definitely feels more like a creamy, glossy kind of texture. I'm so confused. And then let's go in with the highlighter. Dream Glow. I feel like it's going to be full on because of the base. Like the glossy base. Yep, it's so full on. Oh. To be honest, don't know how I feel. It's all just very full on, you know? Going back in with this just to try and like blend it all. I just quickly want to try this now. The Bronze Pods by, made by Mitchell. Ooh. Got the shade Caramel Kiss, it's spelled with a K. And it looks like this. It looks 
shiny. The color looks like a good depth. I wonder if it's going to be warm enough for my liking. I'm going to take the shimmer tulip brush that I've been using under my eyes because I love this for bronzer lately. And I'm going to go in. I love a glowy bronzer and I'm constantly looking for a replacement for my Too Faced Love Heart one because that's like my favorite bronzer that's discontinued. Okay, the color so far perfect you look at it on your brush and you can barely see it but the pigmentation is so good it's not too much um and it's not too little it's there with one swipe put some on my jaw it is so pretty it gives me a glow it gives me the like bronze i definitely need to try it without like all of these other products on at some stage but i can already tell that i like it i think i'll like it even more when i don't have like the creams on because obviously it's like gripping onto that blush and stuff oh my gosh i'm so excited the formula feels amazing i think the color is going to be perfect it doesn't look super warm in the pan but it definitely does come off quite warm i guess the like name says it all right clearly if you don't like a shine you won't like this but if you do like the Too faced love hearts bronzer that's like discontinued now you've been looking for something like that I feel like this is low-key like that I'm so happy I feel like I need to go buy a second one <laughs> maybe a lighter color too for when I've got less fake tan on because I definitely think this is like deeper you know it's like one of the darker shades that I would use I look very much like beachy glowy right now like with all these products on it's like yeah it's giving like summer holiday kisses for this I know that the bronzer under my lip looks hectic but should look good soon let's just hold our breath i have the benefit like the new brow wax i just did declutter and decluttered my old one of these but i got a new one so it's a sign <laughs> i have used this before in the past but obviously um yeah it's just just a new pencil that they've sent with this because this is what i really want to try the brow wax that's tinted they've also sent this brow detailer oh okay no way let's use this today instead so this is even finer like look at the difference can I even get this to focus they're so small like look precisely my brow pencil is this one here and then the detailer is like microscopic it is like one millimeter thick it's like half the width if that it's so tiny so if you like to like do a lot of detail work with your brows like it's gonna be your new favorite so I'm just gonna run a little bit of this where I've got like sparser areas just doing little strokes needless to say I really like benefit brow products I always have I genuinely just think they're really good yeah you can do little brush strokes it's very easy the pencil itself is a nice kind of um texture it's not too creamy and it's not too stiff it's just perfect Does it have a spoolie? It does. That is fantastic. Absolutely no complaints there. I don't know how much of a good job I just did filling in my brows. I'm kind of lazy when it comes to my brows. Let's try the tinted brow ace. I decluttered the clear one because I didn't reach for it a whole lot, but I'm so excited to see what the tinted one's like because Gimme Brow is one of my favorite brow gels for years. In fact, it probably still will be, but um, I just don't use it all the time anymore because it's all I used for so long. You know, for so many years it was like all I used in videos. So I really like made an effort to constantly try new ones. But I still love it, you know. Texture of this feels quite nice. The color is perfection. I have shade 3. You can kind of get that fluffy brow look. Oh. All my makeup just wiped off when I did that. I need to touch up my bronzer now. Ooh, whoopsie. Lately I have been doing my brows before my face makeup and I think this would be no exception. I think it'd still be better if you just whipped it on beforehand so that you could like clean up the edges. I can 100% see myself using this a lot though. The texture feels nice. The color's good. Seems to do a very good job of like brushing the hairs in the right direction. The pigment is a lot, honestly. It's like filling in my brows as I use it for sure. My brows look like hairy. It's very much similar to Gimme Brow, but obviously Gimme Brow has the little fibers. So if you don't like the little fibers, you'll like this. And I don't necessarily need the fibers because I have quite full brows, but I just like it because then I can just use it alone. I don't have to fill in my brows, you know? This one is more just like a wax that's tinted. So it like tints your hairs, but it still goes on your skin and kind of like fills in as well. It's just not as like 
bitsy as like a fiber one, if that makes sense. Going straight in my drawer, honestly, immediately. I love it. Kind of want to do my um, lips first so I can kind of get an idea of what I want to do on the eyes because I want to go lighter on the eyes but still like maybe like a smoky liner or something. But first I'm going to take, okay, this here. <laughs> be using as a mirror. It's the Hyper Natural Face Palette from Natasha Denona. So I'm going to use this dreamy color. It's like super shimmery. And I'm going to pop on the brow bone kind of loving like a glitter on my brow bone ever since that flower nose video i did if you haven't seen that video go watch it it's literally like my favorite look i've done in forever and like honestly like one of my favorite videos i've filmed in forever just trying out this like makeup that looked like a fairy tale like if you haven't seen it you should definitely watch it it's just like i don't know how to describe it i loved it Ooh, so that gives me like a similar effect to that video but except this is much more like pigmented but you could use this all over the lid, you could use it on inner corner. If you're ballsy, use it on your brow bone. It is intense, but I kind of love it lately. I don't know what it is, like the frosted brow bone. Like, I just think it's a cool look. My under eyes are creasing terribly, by the way, so I don't think that the e.l.f. concealer is really for me. It's made my under eyes look like ball sacks. I'm just putting some on my inner corner because I'm trying to like distract from the fact that I have wrinkles under my eyes. Yeah, I think the concealer can go i'm not even gonna like keep it in my drawer because i'll use it again and then just be disappointed again i just think it's yeah it separated straight away when i used it and then i had to like re-smooth it and then i set it and it's still like it's just like crumbled look at it in my eyes like it's just i don't know i have that many concealers that don't do that at this stage that i'm not putting up with it i thought i might try this lip pencil i don't know if this qualifies as like dark lips but I can do another one if you want like a dark brown or something because I did the dark brown I'll link the video below where I did a dark brown lip recently it was just a couple of videos ago where I tried like it was like a Huda Beauty dark brown with like a dark lip gloss so it looked very dark and vampy so I don't want to just do like the same look again you know I want to do something different so this is actually like a red it's called the Berry Pop Lip Crayon by Natasha Denona and it's a like pinky red and let's be honest when's the last time I've done actual red I mean I've done it red lip oils and things and red lip gloss but not red these lip pencils are incredible they're so creamy and luxe a little bit too creamy <laughs> like where you can't get a sharp line because it's so like buttery soft Sorry, I don't think anyone's going to be looking that closely. And then I'm going to take a lip brush from XO Beauty with the um, blush I used, I guess, the Freddy color. Let's see how these look together. You could use your finger, but I'm using a brush so that I can like blend it into the lip liner. I don't know if this really qualifies for like a dark lip now that it's on, but I kind of love it. So it's, it's here to stay. I have to say my brows are not perfect. Like I could have done them a lot nicer, especially if I did them before the makeup, like the foundation, but I love how they look. I love the color. I think the color is literally perfect. I love how fluffy and defined they look, but they still look quite natural. Like I love the brows. Like I just think they look soft and pretty but still like done, if that makes sense. Like, I really like them. This concealer though, <laughs> can get jacked. We're gonna get a little bit of fallout because I'm using a really dense brush right now with this like dark color. It's called Statement, that middle eyeshadow. Gonna then go into Everyday. This looks like Satin Taupe by MAC Loki. Just running that above. We all know that I love Natasha Denona eyeshadows. I think they are beautiful. I'm gonna take a little bit of statement and just run that on like this inner part of my eye. And then with my finger, I'm gonna take the shade soft. It's like this rosy pink. And I'm going to just press that. This is like a very simple eye makeup look, obviously. I'm not going intense today. I just want it to be Nice little compliment for the brighter lip. Hopefully they still sell these like Natasha Denona products. I feel like these were probably from like Valentine's Day or something, were they? I don't know. I mean, maybe not, but the colors are very like Valentine's-esque. I'm gonna take a little bit of every day on like a blendy brush and I'm just gonna pop that underneath my eye since I've got so much creasing. 
And then I'm going to take like some of these bronze, like maybe that middle bronze and then go over it again and I might put some of that through the crease on the top. I still don't know how I feel about these kind of palettes from Natasha Denona. Like they obviously perform beautifully. They're stunning. I just don't know if it's the kind of thing I would personally reach for. I think it just depends on who you are as a person. Like if you like all in one palettes or not. For me, like I feel like I would rather invest my money in just her eyeshadow palettes. Like I feel like it's just something I would naturally like reach for more often. Um, but there's nothing wrong with the palette. Like it's still beautiful. Just yeah, it depends who you are, I think. I'm just making this match now because I made the other side super thick. These are kind of shimmery as well, so... I don't know. I don't know if this looks good. I can't tell. Let's go on with a bit of black liquid liner. This one isn't a new one. I do actually have new ones to try, but I just need to actually get through some of these liners. I'll put in a bit of casual, which is like a little bit cooler tone to go right up against that black, I think. I'm really good at just doing rogue things and ruining my makeup. Okay, cutest mascara in the world, Betty Boop. Look at this. Boopalicious Full Volume Mascara by Glam Light. The packaging's so cute. Oh my God. Look at the actual tube as well. I was not expecting the actual tube to be so cute. It's like NARS packaging. <gasps> How good. Okay, I'm assuming it's black. I hope I like this. I'm not gonna curl my lashes. Just gonna go straight in. I think it's very separating. It's a little bit lengthening, a little bit of volume, but mostly separating. Can you see? Oh, it's so hard to look at the camera because of the bright sun. Oh God, I got it all over my lid. Going in for a second coat. I wouldn't say it's like my favorite mascara in the world, but I do like it. And the packaging just makes it cute and special. I definitely do not think this is curling at all. Like if anything, I almost feel like it's like making my lashes a little bit straighter. Like it's like weighing them down. Look at my, like, look at the outer corner. Look how flat they are. Normally my lashes have a bit of a natural curl to them, but maybe it's quite a heavy mascara. I don't know. I'll have to try it again and curl my lashes and see if it like drops the curl straight away. I have a suspicion that it might. Let's see it on the bottom lashes. Usually the ones that are like, like not good for curling are really good on the bottom lashes because like they make your bottom lashes look so long. Yeah, it's cute. I'd give it like a, like it's just kind of average. I don't know. Six out of 10, seven out of 10. I've definitely tried better, but it's also not shit. Um, before I put on some false lashes, I've got some here to try. I've got a setting mist. I bought this one off Beauty Bay as well. It's by Trigwell Cosmetics. I don't think I've tried Trigwell Cosmetics before. Um, and this one caught my eye because it's called the Hollow Hold Setting Mist. I don't know if it's actually like holographic or if it's just like the packaging, do you know what I mean? It says that it locks in your makeup with a microfine mist infused with niacinamide to balance oil production and keep shine at bay. You get 50 mil. Pleasant smell. What does that remind me of? That's nostalgic. Kind of like Fix Plus or something, I think it smells a little bit like. It's making me look super glowy, which I do like. I just feel like this mixed with that primer we used earlier, I don't know if it's a bit too much. And I really, really say that. Like, really. Not really. Like, R-A-R-E-L-Y. Wait. R-A-R-L-Y. <laughs> really. I don't often say that. Let's just reword that. I don't often say that the glow is too much, but it might possibly be almost a little bit. You know what? Like, this the primer with a matte foundation or like my house labs foundation or something would probably be amazing but that foundation we use from um it cosmetics is like kind of natural and like not super matte you know i don't know look as it settles and it looks really good it's just that i don't know i feel like it emphasizes the pores slightly but at the same time like now that it's settling in it's not so bad the lashes that we have to try today are the sweet ones now i love the sweet mascara you guys know i've been using it all the time lately i'm just going to pop on a few of these these are called the no lash lash and they're just little clusters and the packaging's cute but i can't figure out how to get into the friggin thing here we go all right, there's different lengths. I'm probably gonna take the medium and long ones. Sorry about the dogs. Each one looks like this. I'm gonna put them under. I just find it easier to put clusters underneath my lashes. Although my lash, my mascara is kind of like um, flat in my lashes. I changed my mind. Let's do on top because my lashes are quite flat today. I think I just wanna do a few on the outer corner because if I do these all over, it's gonna take me eight years. And I'm really bad at putting on um, individual lashes on top of my lashes. I don't know why. These are very delicate. They're really pretty. I actually feel like I can only really use the longest ones to make them really stand out. The other ones kind of like 
blend into my natural lashes. But I'd say my lashes are like decently long at the moment. The longest ones give a nice little like, I don't even know if you'll be able to see like a nice little flick. Probably just need to put the ones that aren't so long like on the inner corners, but since I just want them on the outer, we'll just do this. Quality of these seems decent. Sometimes when I try, my throat just made a really weird noise. <laughs> Sometimes when I try individual lashes, they um, like they're really, honestly just really crap quality and they fall apart, they rip apart. The hairs like just fall out. These ones are staying put and I'm not even being super careful. Like I'm kind of just yanking them off the tray and they are staying perfect. So that's a really good sign because I don't think you should have to be like ridiculously careful when you're using stuff like this. Like it should be able to stay together. I just genuinely suck at putting these on to be honest. So what do you guys think of the makeup? I think this is a very simple wearable look, but it was fun to try out some new products. I think one of my next videos, I want to do something a little bit more colorful or something again actually. I do still want to try out those like duochrome eyeshadows and things like that'll be fun. Let me know if you would like more PR hauls because I can do that. Got a whole lot of PR sitting in the corner of my room right now. My hair looks really pretty. I curled it yesterday and then I slept with it in plaits today and it's done this weird like curly wavy situation but I really like it. This lip combo is everything as well like I think this is just so pretty. It's like red around the outside but the middle is like a muted yeah it's like still reddish but i don't know it's such a cool color i feel like it's a little bit different to a lot of like red lipsticks i own i don't know but the red lip liner i feel like you could pair it with like a brown lip liner and completely change it do you know what i mean it's almost like got a peachier kind of undertone to it or something like it's it's a really cool color thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for all of the love on all of my videos lately and also if you missed it i have been uploading vlogs again so i've got like i don't know four or five new vlogs over on my vlog channel go check them out i'll link the channel down below it's just irl stuff like me chilling cooking hanging out with my son talking about new furniture and setting up my walking pad in my office and just random crap random chats and yarns so yeah go check out my vlog channel and i will talk to you guys in my next beauty video bye